Hi, my name is Robert. Please read the comments in the About section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. Day 18, starting out in Stamford, Connecticut. Uh, somebody's got an S70 here. The dang headlight arrangement's worth more than the rest of the car. <laughs> but uh, we're here to stop a squeaky dash. So we pulled the dash. The link is in the uh, section below. Oh, man, hold on. So we got the dash pulled. And one of the mounts were exploded. The Home Depot local here, unlike mine, had plenty of these mounts that I like to use for these. So we got plenty of those. We have the uh, dash in the sun here. We pieced together enough of that mount to put a brace on it and use the uh, several layers of tape to kind of cushion it to hopefully uh, buffer any sound that would travel through there. We're going to put some goopy glue on it so to hopefully keep it silent after we put it back together. So we got every mount braced and we're about to put this back in the vehicle. There's that S70. Driving with no dash noise at all. Start it right up, no SRS light, and we are good to go. All right, we stopped at another location here in New York. Going to check a damper motor for the uh, climate control system and possibly check a power seat issue. The last vehicle we were at, the guy had the wrong O2 sensor, so we pulled it, showed him how to put it in, and now we're here at my favorite color. Volvo 850 sedan to adjust the damper motor or replace one. A nice treat was being able to see this old VW van. Look at that. Looks like it's in very good condition. Nice bus driver steering wheel, bucket seats. That's bare minimum. Very simple. Okay, this car has had some improvements because the owner wanted to make them, not to not to add any more stress and strain on it, just to make it a little bit snappier. So he's got the reverse intercooler, the cold air intake, stuff like that. He's got his timing belt stuff done. And one thing that he pointed out that, unfortunately, he was being billed through dealer service for cabin air filter. And uh, foul odor started disturbing him. So he opened up to check the cabin air filter after years and years of being billed for a filter. And there was a rodent nest in the area of the cabin air filter. There was no cabin air filter housing. And he had to, uh, you know, bring that to their attention, showing them the receipts and stuff from them billing for that. And him having to breathe that foul uh, material. So sad to say, you do need to check up behind your, your service text because, you know, they may be not doing things that they're claiming they're doing and then you get to suffer the uh, negligence. With the car running, the damper motor would get up to the recycle position that it is now. That's the arm for it. And it would click like it was getting stuck. I'm gonna switch it to open so you can see it go to open. Now that's fresh air. Now I'm gonna go back to recycle, which it should come right back to recycle. Now if you're in recycle and you shut the car off like this, it'll stay where it is. But when you start the car back up, it'll go back to fresh and it'll run for about a minute or so before it comes back to recycle. So we started the car. As you can see, it's automatically going back to open. Now it's going to sit for maybe a minute before it starts going back to close because on here we have recycle selected and when it goes back to uh, recycle it's going to do it in notches so when it starts moving I'll start the camera back alright now it's going back to recycle as you can see it's moving a little notch at a time until it gets all the way to recycle and that's because it has reset itself from the vehicle being off. Slowly but surely moving to recycle. 
Ending with day 18, had a meet and greet actually on the New Jersey Turnpike. Wonderful time hanging out with a guy and his, and his wife. Talked for hours, end up leaving that rest area at the New Jersey Turnpike at around 12.30 in the morning. Awesome. I'm just, we're just having a great time. Uh, one gentleman actually had the wrong part that was ordered for his car. It looked like the proper part, but for some reason, he had one of these crossover models, and uh, it was the wrong part. So, if you're getting parts for me to come by and help you do some things on your vehicle, please try to take a look at the part that you need to order before you order it and get it in. Otherwise, when I get there, I, I'm not going to be able to finish the job. So, anyway, we had a great time yesterday. We uh, finished up uh, Dash. Visited a couple of other people, helping with a couple of other things. Today, we're going to be in the D.C. area after we go through the Philadelphia area. Unfortunately, I am now officially four days behind schedule. I apologize to anybody that I did not get to meet and greet or help. Um, I'm evidently going to have to maybe do a better job at scheduling my time and my visits and locations. But I do appreciate everybody's support, and I, I hope to see uh, many of you in the days to come. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.